everyone, I'm Julia of Bless My Bag and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I haven't been posting YouTube videos in like years. I'm just filming this in my bedroom. I have the aircon on, but wait, I think I sh it's better that I turn it off just for better sound quality. Hold on. Since I'm starting the video again, it's a lot more quiet now that the aircon's off. Um, you might hear some construction sounds though in the distance or I'm hoping that the grass cutters don't come because then it's gonna get really noisy and I'm gonna have to stop. First I know first thing that people always ask is what base do you have on and right now I have the wait I'm running out of breath okay this is the Pond's Flawless White BB Cream um, and I mix two shades there are only two shades I mix light and beige together to get my exact shade powder. I'll talk about this more later. But first, I'll begin with skincare. Okay, begin with um, Safeguard. This is Dermasense uh, for sensitive skin, their facial cleanser. I'm so, so glad that Safeguard finally came to terms with the fact that their bar soaps are too harsh for facial skin. For, for people with sensitive skin anyway, I mean guys probably don't care because I, I remember before like guy was dating was saying But I like my soap to strip everything off. Um, not all of us want our soap to strip everything off, dude. This stuff is gentle. It's gentle But it's not a wimp when it comes to cleansing. You know, there are some gentle cleansers Kakainis because they give you the gentleness, but then they won't cleanse naman your skin properly. They won't cleanse your face properly. This cleanses it properly. It foams a little bit, but it doesn't have a SLS. It reminds me so much of the the Johnson & Johnson pH 5.5 range that I encountered when I was in high school. Do you remember that? Do you guys remember that range? I was so sad when they pulled it out. It made my skin so soft. I was like, oh my gosh, this pH 5.5 thing really works. And then, of course, that range disappeared. And when I used this, I just, it's like I entered, it's like a time warp back to that because it gives me the same effect. Um, and I'm glad that you can get in the grocery. Okay, after cleansing, this next step is just twice a week. I use the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting. 8% AHA gel. It's like every three days. Um, and basically, what it is, it's a glycolic acid exfoliant. And it's a very, very gentle acid to just, you know, to do resurfacing on the skin. That's basically acid toning. And this is at night. The routine that I'm telling you about now is at night. It's not in the morning, okay? This is my routine before bed. The, after my acid toning, I'll go in with um, This Works. This is This Works. It's a niche botanical brand in the UK. This is the moisturizer that Victoria Beckham raved about. Before I put this moisturizer, on some nights, not every night, maybe every other, I'll go in with Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair when I feel that my skin needs it. But this is more as needed. This is gentle. So if you, you have never tried a serum and you're afraid to try other stuff, you know, you're not sure. Estee Lauder is a good brand. But always patch test when it comes to serums. This is the Advanced Night Repair, the new one. Like, part two. <laughs> and before I've, I this arrived in my mailbox, I have, I mean, I had this already. This is the Olay Total Effects Anti-Aging Night Cream. Very classic. Um, it's not even fragrance-free, but I love the scent. Really clean, classic lotion scent. Um, that just makes me feel nice before bed. So if I feel like going in with a night cream that's a little more rich, I'll use the Olay 7 Total Effects Night Cream instead of this. Um, but most nights I've been using in transit camera close-up. So there. I mean, I haven't had a night routine in a long time, but I've been doing this for the last two weeks and my skin has just been at its best. We're back with my makeup stuff. I have like a tray here in my lap and um, I'm going to talk to you about the makeup that I've been using and loving lately or and some new stuff. The base that I have on right now is the Pond's Flawless White BB Cream. Pink one, not the red one. This one, this pink one, the Flawless White one is really good. I mix two shades, beige and light. Okay, so I have a little bit of that in the center of my face. No powder. I've been using a concealer since last year and I haven't blogged about it. But it's not 
not really a secret. I just wanted to keep it to myself because I was enjoying it so much. I got this in New York last year. Now look at it. This is by Maybelline. This is their Age Rewind Dark Circles Eraser Treatment Concealer. Look at it! It's gone! The only thing that's left is the little bit that's up in the pipe and near the sponge na lang. And I just started using it a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Um, shortly after I got back, the ones who recommended this to me were the Brazilian models locally. Those Brazilian models swore to me, they, well sorry, swore by this um, for their dark circles. But they were frustrated, like absolutely frustrated that this was not available locally. Um, I have a new tube, just so you see what it looked like before the end. Um, there, it looks like that. There, finally. It looks like that. My tita went to New York, New York kasi just this year, so she got me another one. On days when I don't want to wear a base or, or tamad, I will just put this under my, on my dark circles, down the bridge of my nose. I also have the lighter shade for like counter shading, which is the, ob which is the opposite of contouring. What else have I been liking? Oh yeah, um, this month, I haven't been using as, it as much as the month before, which was really, really springtime. Everyone still loves MAC Strobe Cream and you want to try something different that does the same thing by another brand. Try this one by Shiseido. It's the Shiseido Glow Enhancing Primer. It's the same thing. You know how MAC comes out. It's white. And then, it, um, it like, when you blend it in, it's, it's just like a really nice glowy thing. Let me put it on the right way. Yeah, there you can see. But this one by Shiseido, the Glow Enhancing Primer, it's a little bit more emollient. So, it feels more like skincare than a makeup product. I was using this. So, on top of makeup, not under. Because like, one of my beauty blogger friends was asking, how come it doesn't work for me the same way? She was putting it under makeup. It doesn't, it works better on top. Maybelline, it's called here Fashion Brow. 24 hour coloring mascara. This is the one in dark brown. Um, number five, dark brown. It's brow tint, but it also has some hold. What I like to do so I don't overdo it, because I don't get any shape, because when I just brush it onto my brows, is I use my Makeup Forever. This is the best angled brush for me, by the way, for brows. Makeup Forever eyebrow brush. Oh, that's all it's called. It's got no number. From the wand, I will get a little bit see that with well I like to deal with the hassle because I like the effect I will draw like I'll start to brush it in and give my eyebrows some shape yeah I know a lot of you don't like to faff around with brushes but recently this has been really giving me like a customized eyebrow effect like it's really a, um, a method that I figured out on my own so that works for me then I take what's left on the brush and I just brush this helps, like, put the hairs in place, you know, because like, they're standing and all over the place. Okay, yeah, of course, some of you have seen this in the vlog already. Um, this is the, ooh, so pretty. This is the Shiseido Maquillage uh, Dramatic Mood Veil. It's so pretty. This is the one that Lisa Eldridge raved about. She was right. It's something that's so beautiful. You can use it daily. It's just really pretty. You can never overdo it. There. I put a little bit across my nose too, just a little bit, because it's weird when you don't make damai the nose and your cheeks are just packed with color, it doesn't look like natural makeup. Because when you get kilig and you blush, or if you're happy and you blush, the nose is kasama. So, just a little bit. Not as much as the cheeks, you know. It's just there. So, there. It just gives the... You see? Now I've added more. Of course, in person, this looks like too much. But for the camera, oh my gosh, it's just really pretty. You just look like, ugh, fresh. Sorry, we're having technical dif difficulties. My camera just suddenly stops recording for no reason. So I might as well finish. This is Max Factor Lipfinity. 
what I like about it is the color. The color is really a win color. It's the sort of pink nude Kardashian type color. It's a color that Kim would have worn in maybe a couple of years back when she was younger. It's so nice. This is the color Crystal, wait, Crystal Bronze. Yes, and it's a permanent color because it's one of their best sellers. This is like a liquid lipstick. It's like a gloss effect at first and then and then you can add more shine with this part on the other side. So what I like to do is I like to line my lips a bit, but maybe just a little bit. Not majorly because this camera is acting up. This is by Revlon. It's a color stay lip liner in rose. But this, this is crystal bronze. I'm going to put the color and it sets. You kind of have to be quick. When it sets, they think that it flakes. But if you just wait for it to set properly, it's just gorgeous. I for it 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 got moved to the back of my makeup stuff and I forgot about it for a while. But when I put it on, I just had to keep using it again. And if you can see, can you see that? Instant plump. Like my lips now look like twenty five percent bigger, but not in a strange way. <laughs> so it's just more enhanced and. Yeah, I just really like how it looks. Don't you? I think it looks great. Don't forget, Max Factor Lipfinity in Crystal Bronze with the Revlon Rose Lip Liner. Max Factor been putting out a lot of nice stuff. Like, they sent me also this um, blush of theirs. It's a new blush. It's their, like, it's sort of like their version of the MAC Mineralize. The Cream Puff Blush in Seductive Pink. That's what they're called. Yeah, cream puff blush. And you can see that it's got like veining, just like the MAC mineralized blushes. Why do I keep looking at the screen? I have to stop. <laughs> so, um, that's another new thing. Um, what else do I have to show you? Oh, one last thing I wanted to mention is this lip butter by Nivea. I was thinking it's such a small product, there's not much to say about it, like in the in an individual blog post, I might as well include it in the video. The Nivea Lip Butter in Raspberry Rose. If you are a child of the 80s and the 90s, there were the days of Frutella. And I remember Strawberry Frutella. This tastes and smells like the strawberry one. As in, I opened the tin and I was transported back to the 90s and 80s when people were still eating Frutella. Can you smell that? It's not just your standard, like, petroleum jelly or Vaseline because it's got shea butter, it's got castor seed oil, it's got sweet almond oil also. Um, it does have mineral oil. It's, it does contain paraffinum but um, it's got lots of good stuff in there as well. So kind of like a lesser evil. <laughs> Nivea lip butter in raspberry rose. Okay, and then that's it. And sorry about the change in lighting and the camera moving. Now I'll, I'll make sure that changes for next time. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll try to make more videos from now on. I promise.